in graphics. High-level plotting function creates possibly a new graph with axis, labels, titles, and so on. Low-level low -level plotting functions such as extra points, lines, and labels. An interactive graphics allows us to interactively add additional information such as extra points or extract information from an existing plot or maintain a list of graphical parameters which can be manipulated. So here we are using what is known as base graphics. A separate graphics subsystem in package grid coexist with base. Package lattice will, which builds on grid provides multi-panel plots. High-level plotting commands are designed to generate a complete plot of data with appropriate axis, label and titles. It starts a new plot erasing the current plot if necessary. Okay, one of the most frequently used plotting function is plot function. It is dependent upon the type or class of the first argument. So syntax is plot x, y. Plot x, y means if x and y are vectors, it will produce a scatter plot. If you are supplying a single argument, then it will be either a list containing two elements, x and y, or a two column matrix. If, if you are supplying a single argument and it is a time series element, then it is a time series element. It produces a time series plot. If x is a numeric vector, it produces a plot of the values in the vector against their index. If x is a complex vector, it produces a plot of imaginary versus real part of the vector element. Plot, plot of f and plot of fy. f is the factor vector factor object and y is the numeric vector. This form plot f will plot a bar plot. And the second form this form plot f y will plot a box plot. Then another version of plot is plot of df where df is the data frame and y is this this y represent any object and the expression is a list of objects separated by plus for example a plus b plus c the first two forms produces distributional plots of the variables in the data frame or the number of named forms. Third form, this form plots y against every object named in expression. Then display multivariate variate data. R provides two useful functions for representing multivariate data. If x is numeric or data frame, depending upon the data type. If it is numeric or data frame, then you can use a command known as pairs. It produces pair by scatter plot matrix defined by the column of x. Another command is coplot. When three or four variables are involved, a coplot can be used. If A and B are two numeric vectors and C is a, either a numeric vector or factor object, we can issue this command. This one, this command coplot 
produces a number of scatter plot of a against b for a given c this means that a against b given this symbol denotes given some values of c if c is a factor this means that a is plotted against b for every value of c c is a factor then it is plotted for every value of c and c is numeric means it is divided into a number of conditional intervals and for each value of c within the interval is plotted the number and position of interval can be controlled controlled with given values equal to argument to the coplot the function co intervals is useful for selecting intervals use two given variables a we can plot scatter plot using coplot here we are using plotting a against b for a given joint conditional interval of c and d previously we had plotted for a given value of c now we are using conditional interval c plus d coplot and pair function both take a argument panel equal to which can be used to customize the plot the default is points to produce a scatter plot but supplying some other lower low level graphics of two vectors they are using panel equal to so example for a panel function is panel dot smooth so in coplot and pair function we are using an argument panel equal to to customize the plot and default version is points it will produce it can include low graphics functions with parameter panel equal to an example for a panel function is panel dot smooth okay display graphics three functions q norm of x q q line of x q q plot of x y these will plot a distribution comparison plot first form of the plot plots the numeric vector x against the x vector and second i had say this one had say straight line and third one plots say contains of x against y then about histogram the first function this function produces histogram of the numeric variable x and a sensible number of classes can be chosen this classes argument can be chosen with argument n class and also break points can be specified with the argument break point if the probability is true argument is given the bar represent relative frequency divided by bin width instead of count then dot chart of x it constructs a dot chart of the data in x image of x y z contour of x y z perspective of x y z these plots three variables the image plot throws a grid of rectangle using different colors to represent the value then contour contour plot draws contour lines to represent the value of x finally this plot draws a 3d surface arguments to high level plotting functions so add equal to true means forcing the function to act as a low level graphics function axis equal to false means it suppresses generation of axis log equal to x log equal to y log equal to xy the causes the xy or both axis to be logarithmic then type argument type equal to p means plot individual points type equal to 1 plot lines 
typical to b plot points connected by lines typical to 0 point plots overlaid by lines typical to x point word plot vertical lines typical to s means step function plot typical to n means no plotting at all then x label equal to string y label equal to string these are the axis label for x and y axis main equal to string means it uh, specifies the title of the figure which is placed at the top of the plot sub equal to string means it is a subtitle which is placed below the x axis in smaller font some instructions length equal to 0.25 means length of any arrowhead angle equal to 30 means angle of the head to the main arrow in degrees code equal to 2 means it is the arrowhead which arrowhead is to be drawn 0 means neither 1 means beginning point 2 the ending point and 3 4 ends lty means it is the line type style lwd is the line width line color is specified using color equal col equal to color matrix plots means multiple series can be plotted on a single graph this one several series of data will be there if the data are categorical then you can use bar plot dot chart is also possible if your data are continuous variable then you can plot scatter however the map plot command is also a useful one for continuous so for categorical data we can plot bar chart and dot chart for continuous variable you can plot scatter and map plot you can also produce a similar graph using plot command using map plot command which plots the columns of one matrix against the columns of other So syntax of matplot command, matplot followed by you need to specify two arguments. This x, x and this is the matrix containing the columns to be used as x axis, x data. And this one is, this one is for x data and this one is y data. And type equal to P. The two matrix subject do not have to contain same number of columns. So number of elements in X and Y may vary. LTY is the by default only points are plotted. If we are using type equal to B, the style of lines differs. Okay, LTY denotes the line type. Then you can use plotting characters. Usually plotting characters are by default it is from 1 to 9, then 0, then lowercase, then uppercase. Setting the symbol, you need PCH command. PCH argument. Colors are set using COL argument. Usually 1 through 6 colors are possible. Black, red, green, blue, cyan and violet. Following example shows two matrices. First containing two columns and these relate to two response variable and the second matrix is a single column and it is a predictor variable. So this is a database IBERT. It is a default database. It contains two columns SFLY and EMFLY. This is another database SPD. So it contains speed. It is a column matrix column vector.
So to create a basic plot, you need two variables. First one is x data. This one is x data. And this one is y data. So minimum these two arguments are required for plotting. A single x variable and two columns in your and the two columns in your y data are plotted. Using all the defaults, here other arguments are missing. So it will set all the defaults value. With plotting, characters being black, 1 and red, and 2. So this one is an example for more customized plot. Here we are using, this one is the x data, x data. And this is the y data. And this one is the line type. And this one is the PCH character. This one is the color. And the x axis label. X axis label is labeled by x lab. And y axis label is labeled using y lab. Then legend. Legend means you might have seen a instruction at the top of the graph using some symbols. For example, suppose you are plotting a graph. Suppose you are plotting a graph. Bars are plotting with uh, some fruits. Two bar charts are there or some uh, colors. Blue and green balls are plotted. Blue, green. So this one is for blue and this one is for green. Actually, there will be one instruction here denoting which one is blue. So some, you will make it clear. So suppose some other example, some plot is given. This one specifies blue ball. And some other plot will be there. This one, sorry, it, it won't be visible. We will use some other color. Sorry. So a graph is plotted. First one represents a blue ball. And uh, some other plot. This one is some other, uh, some green. There will be one graphical representation here means this one represents green and this one represents blue. This representation is known as legend. Okay, actually here they are mentioning that legend is at the top right. Legend is top right. This one. Legend is top right. This portion. Legend is top right. Legend is top right. Then, what are the strings of that legend? We are having two flies. Stone fly and may fly. Similar to the previous example, we are having two flies here, stone fly and may fly. Then you can specify the color and character for that legends using this command. Okay, using legend command, you can copy some of the inst instructions because you need to match the line type, color and plotting characters. Okay, we had this data earlier. So this is an example for legend. So here this this character represents it's not clear to you. This character represents stone fly. Means this character, this graph is for stone fly. This is legend. 
this this portion is known as ligand okay this is x label speed is x label and this y label means this one and here title will be displayed okay here dot characters are used for plotting okay so here plotting functions are same so for uh, using legend you can copy the code also in addition to the mat plot command you can add points and lines to an existing graph using map points and map lines for adding lines and points to the existing graph some options for matrix plot you can just read it multiple plots in one window in some times sometimes several graphs might need to be plotted in a single window you you could make separate plots and then later position them together or more efficient way to plot such graph is to split the a graphical window into sections and draw your graphs splitting the plot into equal section means split the graphical window into different parts using em f row and em f call you can access these instruction via the command par command store the current par instruction so that they can be recalled or reset later so the arguments of em row em f row and em column are number of rows and number of columns so this one is the syntax of mf row and mf column here this one represents the number of rows and the next one represents the number of columns one set the split plot window remain in force until altered or reset to the original value so here we are using 2 by 2 mf row 2 by 2 means we need two rows and two columns that means the whole screen is divided into four 2 by 2 that is four whole screen is divided split into four halves so we are plotting three data length of bd we are plotting three data length bd length alge length speed length no3 okay check this output here we are dividing the screen into four 1 2 3 4 so first plot bod against length second plot alge against length third plot speed against length and fourth plot no3 against length is plotted you can skip a plot by using plot new command so after issuing a plot new command the current plot will be cleared so here we are using a plot new command in that case the window will be cleared so you can verify it after plotting this one uh, you had issue a new command so this window is cleared similarly you had issued another command also to clear so this one is also cleared so only two plots are plotted okay in in the previous case we are considering the window is split into equal session 
Now we are going to consider the plot window is divided into unequal session using split screen command. Okay, here the basic form of syntax is like this split screen fix equal to C of rows columns. It is similar to M of row instruction. You can divide each of the sections just as you created before. So split the screen figures C23 means you are having one row and two columns. And if you divide the whole row, divide the graphics window into two rows and one column. And this command shows that we are having two areas available. The screen command checks to see which is the current window. If you are setting one, then means the window at the top is the current window. You can sit to the bottom row using by issuing screen of two. So you can close the screen using close screen. So in the second screen you are plotting it one uh, length versus algae and in the first screen you are plotting length versus b like this so you can erase a screen by issuing this command erase screen, screen command the default for this command is to use currently selected screen. By default, the background color is used to erase the drawing. Now suppose you want to draw into the cleared area at the bottom of the plot. That means we are we are cleared the screen 3 and screen 4. So now we can plot it using screen of 3 and screen of 4. Previously we had only plotted two screens and the other screens are plotted here. So in the next step the graph is the screen is split into four. First plot, third plot and fourth plot. So you can issue a close screen to Remove the splits. So close screen N3 is to 4 means it retains screen 1 and 2. It just close 3 and 4. This means it retains screen 1 and 2. If you want to close all the screens, you have to issue this command or this command. Here after issuing the first command, this one is the first command, you had used close screen. In this case, at this step itself, the screen is closed. At this step itself, screen is closed. So if you issue another close screen command, it will issue a false only. So these are the summary of the screen splitting command and options. Then exporting graphs. Once you made a graph, you can save it in computer screen using in some other location or some other report or presentation like that. So using copy and command, copy and paste, you can move graph using clipboard. Then you can resize the graphic window using mouse and then save it. Then after resizing you can save it. If you want more control over the size of the graphics window, you can create a blank window with this dimension. This one is in the windows. This one is in the Mac OS. For Linux, 
uses you have to issue x11 macintosh codes and for windows users you can use windows as in the previous command you can set the height and width background and default size saving a graph to a file how to save a graph so in windows you can see menu bar so you can use file and save command using menu bar you can use various version png jpeg bmp gif pdf etc in macintosh there is no menu no menu so once a graph is selected file menu enables you to save your graph as a file default version is pdf there is no png or other versions in linux there is no g g u i so r runs via terminal application using device driver to save a graph to disk the device driver allows more subtle control of your graphic and quality of the finished article if you are a linux user then use device driver in just a copy paste operation it is a way of device driver is a way to send your graphics to a appropriate location and it may be a screen or png or pdf using device driver can be done in two ways send an existing screen graphic to a file then another way is create a graphic file directly on disk a device driver can accept a variety of instruction including the size of graphics and color of background and resolution png graphic driver graphic device driver you can access a png device via the command png which has the following syntax so you have to mention the file name followed by width followed by height and the resolution and background resolution is not recorded in the file unless you have specified usually you can assume that 72 dpi is used it is a standard way another device driver is pdf device driver it is accessed via pdf command it is also having the similar options So first of all you have to specify the file then with height background then color model Color model enables you to specify general color of the plot the default value is RGB Gray will produce a gray scale plot Then copy a graph from screen to a disk file you can use two commands dev dot copy of device and dev dot print of device. So dev dev dot op means you had finished with graphic. You must close the device, making a new graph directly to your disk device disk file. Device driver enables you to create a graphic as a disk file by bypassing the screen. You need to create a large graphic that might not be fit into a screen. So you have to control the resolution. And starting point is device itself. Steps you require. is first of all you need to create a device using the appropriate driver and after that issue the graphics commands needed then you have to issue additional graphics commands such as titan 
a b line etc then finish the plot by closing the graphics device using dev dot of save a graph to disk and explore the effects of resolution as seen previously you have windows codes x11 commands for making a graphics window then create a graph once you create a have graph you can match the size and resolution using width dot star dpi and height star dpi okay create a new graphics window depending upon the operating system it will vary if you are using window linux you can use this command x11 so retrow the graph in new window now create a png file using the device driver actually the syntax of png um, try file is discussed earlier file name height width resolution and background so after that you have to finish by closing the device layer for each and every png file you have to close the device driver for each and every png we will be using a single device driver so we are next we are creating another png file and set another resolution here resolution is 300 here resolution is 150 it's not b and yeah, that device driver is closed and again create another png file and the resolution of that one is 600 and send sorry close that device driver then go to the working directory and look at the difference of the graphics so one file is with 150 and the next one is with 600 and so on. so there so will be difference in the quality of the graphics so how it works the basic graph is command make the plot the appearance of the graph will be slightly different depending upon the size of the window so you can visualize the final output and create a new window using set size so device driver requires size and resolution information once the device is ready you can send the graphics command to actually draw the plot and close using dev dot of commands so these are the plots we had plotted you can visual, we can visualize the variations the size of the plots are varied so some important error bar legends some important function segments means it is the error bar can be added using segments and arrows legend means it can be used to add a legend to an existing plot palette can be used to create a palette of colors expression text etc can produce text that is subscripted or superscripted so em text text can be placed in the margins of the plot similarly you can read the other options also other commands also then graphical procedure locator locator en comma type this is the syntax of locator it waits for the user to select the locations on the current plot using left mouse button this continues until n points have been selected this is the point n denotes the points and the type argument allows for plot at the selected points and has the same effect as the high level graphics locator returns the locations of the points selected so how many locations will be printed this n locations will be printed or labels so locator 
This locator command means there will be no arguments. It is particularly useful when, when you are using interactive selections. Text locator outlayer ADJ equal to zero. This means you have to place some informative text near an outlying point. Locator means one point, right? Locator will be ignored if the current device such as PostScript does not support interactive pointing. So another graphical procedure is identify x comma y comma identify x comma y comma label. It allows the user to highlight any point of the defined by x and y and it returns the indices of the selected points when another button is pressed. So it identifies some particular point and sometimes you may be wish to select some observation of interest from the graph graphical display. Given some points x and y, and you have two numeric vectors x and y, you could use identify function like this plot x, y, then followed by identify x, y. So identify function allows the user to move the mouse pointer and click the left mouse button near a point. It returns the indices of the selected point. You can also use plot equal to false using graphics parameters. So permanent changes are done using par function and temporary changes can be done using arguments to the graphics function. So R R's default do not always produce exactly that which is required. R maintain a large number of graphics parameters such as line style, color, figure arrangement, and test justification. Every graphics parameter has a name and a value. A separate list of graphics parameters is maintained for each active device. It can be set either permanently or temporarily. Permanent changes can be done using PAR function. PAR function is used to access and modify the list of graphics. PAR without arguments list returns a list of all graphics parameters and its value. PAR C, this means a vector column, then it is what is LTY? It is a line type. With the character vector argument returns only name the graphics parameter and it is a list. Then PAR column 4 and LTY equal to 2. With the name the argument, set the value of named graphics parameter and returns the original values of the parameter as a list. Setting the graphics with power function changes the values of the parameters permanently. It affects the global values of graphics parameters and you can restore the initial values by saving the result of PAR function. So you can use like this first power function. You can save and restore the function with all settable one graphical parameters. Use hold PAR equal to PAR number dot read only equal to true. And you can plot in commands using PAR hold bar. Temporary changes. Graphical parameters can also pass to the graphics function as named arguments. This has the same effect as that of PAR function, except that the changes only last for the duration of the function call. Plot XY produces a scatter plot using 
plus sign because the character here mentioned is plus so it will be plotting plus sign without changing the default plotting character for future a good or help documentation is there for our function you will get a concise summary so a name equal to value parameter name is the name of the parameter that is argument name to call par graphical function value is the typical value you might use access is, is not a graphics parameter but an argument to plot methods like x a x t y x a x t graphical elements made up of points lines text and polygons graphical parameters exist which control how these graphical elements are drawn pch equal to plus option that is a character to be used for plotting points pch equal to 4 when pch is given as an integer between 0 and 25 a specialized plotting symbol is used lty equal to 2 means line types lwd equal to 2 means line width col equal to 2 means colors used for points lines filled region and images col dot sub means col dot main col dot lab col dot axis this is the color used for axis annotation font equal to 2 specifies an integer value which specifies which font is to use for text then font dot x axis font dot lab font dot main font dot sub is is used for axis annotation adj dot equal to minus 0.1 this is justification of text relative to the plotting position cx equal to 1.5 means character expansion axis and tick marks r allows con construction of axis with low graphics function axis axis has three main components axis line tick marks and tick labels the components can be customized using these parameters axis function can be customized using these parameters lab equal to c 5 7 12 the first two numbers are the desired number for the tick intervals and last equal to 1 means orientation of the axis label mcp equal to c of 3 1 0 that means this is the position of axis component tck equal to point not one means length of the tick mark x a x s equal to r or y a x s equal to i means this is the axis style for x axis and a single plot in r is known as figure and it comprises a plot region surrounded by margins and it is bounded by axis itself so this one is an example for a figure and you can you can specify these margins okay graphics parameters control figure layout include m a i which specifies the width of bottom left top and right margin respectively m a r equal to c of 4 2 2 1 it is similar to mai except the measurement length is unit is text line mar and mai are equivalent and the default values chosen for this parameter are often large right margin is rarely needed neither is the top margin bottom and left margin must be adjusted 
the postscript driver with height equal to 4 argument will result in a plot which is about 50 percentage margin. So we can use multiple figures. In multiple figures, the use of margins are reduced. Multiple figure environment. R allows you to create an N by M array of figures on a single page. Each figure has its own margin and array of figures is optionally surrounded by an outer margin. This is an example. Here multiple figures are there. So the graphical parameters relating to the multiple figures are as follows. M of column, size, set the size of the multiple figure array. M of row, it, is the, it specifies row, number of rows and M of column specifies the number of columns. M of G equal to C of 2, 2, 3, 2. Position of the current figure in a multiple figure environment. This command figure equal to C. This denote the position of the current figure on the page. Values are the position of these values. Left, right, bottom, and top. And the percentage of the page measured from the bottom left corner, that is 10. OMA and OMI, it specifies size of the outer margins. Outer margins are particularly useful for page-wise titles. Text can be added to outer margin with M text. No outer margins are by default. Multiple figures can be produced by split dot screen and layout function. Actually, these are defined in package lattice. Device drivers are can generate graphics on most all type of display or printing device. R needs to be informed what type of device is used. The purpose of device driver is to convert graphical instruction from R into a form that is particular device can understood. Device driver are stated started by calling a device driver function. So if you have a postscript function, you can issue this command. It causes all future graphics output to be sent to a printer in postscript format. Commonly used device drivers are X11, Windows and Cos. These are used in, this one is used in Unix, Windows, Mac OS. And po, this postscript is used for printing postscript printers. PDF produces PDF files. PNG produces PNG file. JPEG produces JPEG files. So when you finish with a device, you have to terminate the device driver by issuing dev.off. Postscript diagrams for typesetting documents. The file argument to pass to the postscript device driver function. So you may store the device graphics in postscript format in a file of your choice. If you want a lines, landscape orientation, you have to choose horizontal equal to false argument. So for example, the command postscript file then this one specifies horizontal false means it is a landscape file. So height equal to 5 means the figure has 5 inches high and point size equal to 10. 